Hello everybody and welcome back to my Phoenix Wright Aegis Attorney playthrough. Where last time we had gone ahead and got April May uh, at least convicted of wiretapping. And then yeah. Alright. Now continuing our tale. September 7th, 3.11pm. Hey, what you doing? Are you being that bastard that hasn't subscribed yet? Well, why don't you join one of us that have subscribed? As well as that, you might as well tune down to the description down below where I have a new subreddit called uh, r slash realmhq. Other than that, back to your regularly scheduled program. PM. Detention center visitor's room. Okay. Oh my god, well hello. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place like this. It's so dank, not even the memes are as dank it is. It's really quite moving not you stinking liar i help you perish have you come to laugh yes laugh at the fallen miss may N no not really there's something i wanted to ask unfortunately there is nothing i want to be asked haven't you done enough questioning you spiky head i didn't know i was being referred to as sonic Please, you're scaring the security guard. Yeah, his unflinching thing. It's starting to flinch, just like your eye is. See, look at it. Twitch, 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 twitch. There you go. So, what is it you wish to ask of me, then? The starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? She's an e-girl. Her whole life, she's been used to be pretty. So she has only accepted herself as being pretty. Anyway, examine. Examine the boobs. <laughs> Smile for the camera. Uh, the guard. Is he actually scared? The guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch. Real pros. Guy. Maybe he just doesn't get to see a lot of women like Miss May in here. Okay, I see. <laughs> yeah, I get that. <laughs> Alright, bitch. That man. About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on! No way, Jose! Hmm. Maybe if I had something to get her to call. A wiretap. Why'd you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Ah, uh, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold, so criminal. Like and subscribe at my own. Tapping people's phone is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school, hmm? I'm sorry, didn't you hear the judge? Creep! Woman is impossible to talk to. Shut up, Razor Whips Off! Hey, for crying out loud. <laughs> Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Yeah, that's the whole problem. She's only known for her prettiness. So as soon as she got ousted for being a criminal, she can't really handle it because she's not being complimented. She's not getting the attention she wants. So you only know is positive attention. And she has no idea how to actually respond to it realistically. So she's like, Damn it! Get everything back to normal! I want love! I want all the attention! I am Miss Heed, not Miss April! <laughs> oh, that does it! Bottom feeding scum sucking liar! Uh, bottom. I didn't know she could tell it was a bottom. Can't tell if she, she has a thing against lawyers or just against me. She doesn't have it against you. She has it against anyone who outright doesn't give her positive attention. Anyway, <clears throat> we're gonna have to go somewhere. Well, I don't think there's gonna be anything at the law office. Maybe something at the hotel, since she's not there? Even then, I don't know. September 7th, Gatewater Hotel, room 303. Ah, uh, yes, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Uh, uh, thanks? Sorry for putting you on a spot like that. No, 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 not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewaters rip, as they say. Huh? Rip? Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used a wiretap. We can charge a premium for this room, of course. It'll be great for business, sir. 
Whoa, whoa. Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. I will become the YouTuber who brought the murderer iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? Probably. I think you've experienced it over and over and over. With different decisions and... Oh, sorry, that's Undertale. <laughs> so, you were honored a guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring. How about you move so I can examine this shit? Huh? It's still a screwdriver stuck in the drawer. Ah, please leave that as it is. That's the drawer of terror. Hiding place of the murderer's wiretap. It's set to become one of the most popular attractions here after it gets stolen. This guy's serious. I don't believe it. Uh, the flowers, a vase as expected. Not good with flower names, except maybe tulips and sunflowers. Just all of it you hear from the background. <laughs> Dick Gumshoe Gooey. What, what was the damn name of that damn plant? I need to find out. Because <laughs> I know the whole shtick is that Phoenix Wright does not know fucking flower names. Uh, okay, let me uh, mute this. So we gotta find it. I don't know... Yes, um... No, it's a little bit earlier, I think. Yes, because it's in this one. Or it... M no, okay! It's Cordyline Stricta, pal. Cordyline Stricta. <laughs> you just hear off in the distance. I'm not very good with flowers names. Except maybe tulips and uh, sunflowers. <clears throat> Cordyline... <laughs> Stricta. What is it? <laughs> Gore lies stricter, pal! <laughs> Just off in the distance. Fucking Gumshoe's making his way over here being like, Come on, pal, I told you it was Gore lies stricter! Ah, <laughs> uh, still the scene painting. Wait, shouldn't that be still life? Whatever, one of those is hanging on the wall. Um, nice weather again today. You can see the fan cool offices, of course. Ah, yes, we plan to install- No. As a person who lives or has that office, no. Ah, yes, we plan to install a telescope in that window, of course. Just five dollars will earn you three minutes of a view to kill. To kill. Just kidding, sir. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Now, that look in his eyes, I said he was more than serious. Yeah, that's my office. Fuck you. <laughs> A bottle and two glasses rest on the table. Why hasn't he cleaned these up by now? Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. But if you could please refrain from touching them. Are you just gonna let fucking wine mold over? Or are you gonna cap it? It's part of the decor. I call it the last drink before murder. We'll be famous, the talk of the whole Dell's industry. And then the bed. Is there anything about the bed? A simple bed. It's been recently made. Nothing I got you here. Okay, good. Alright, uh, I think that's everything. Definitely some interesting flavor text. Okay, let's chat with him. Miss May. About Miss May. Oh, her. Sir, so, not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. Especially when I started staring at her huge badonkers. She'd do it, I said. She'd do me as well. <laughs> do what? I'm starting to think that the most suspicious th person here is this guy. No, he just wants all the attention. He's claiming that he knew everything up to the point as he was staring at her boobs. <laughs> I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you pardon the expression. Ha, huh, I wonder if that's foreshadowing. What do you think? <laughs> I knew from the moment I saw him. He had struck somebody on the head, a thinker, but I couldn't even put my thought on it. He and I are of the same ilk. <laughs> we both carry the sense of danger as I stare down at your chest, sir. There we, there we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. If you had a photo of the man, I'm quite certain I could identify him. Photo? Hmm. The man, the hotel. Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely. And on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel. Murder Manor. 
That's just inviting more murders. Well, what do you think? Terrible idea. Um, sounds great! Whatever floats your tea, <laughs> Alright, well, uh, we don't have anything to talk to you about, so... I doubt there's anything here. September 7th, Faye and Cole Law Office is... I am going to look. Looks like the forensics is taking the day off. Detective Gumshoe's nowhere in sight. The police really gave this place a working over. I doubt there's any valuable clues left. I suppose it can't hurt to take a look around, though. I wonder what this plant is. <laughs> Mia's favorite pop potted plant. I guess I'll have to water it now. Ah, yes. He does know the plant's name, right? Cordylistrict! <laughs> Like, at any time, there's gonna be, like, a questionable of what plant this is. It's just gonna be, it's Coralai Strictica! <laughs> the sky is blue, and so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. Alright, um, an old fo movie fo poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that blah, 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 I know. There's her desk, Mia's desk, perfectly clean, as always. The only thing missing is Mia. You can cram more legal books in here, even if you wanted to. All the cases that the chief worked on are filed here. Hmm, are some of the files missing? Nah, I'm just imagining things. Alright, well, we can't inspect the plants. So we're gonna have to go ahead and move. So there's only one other spot we can go, which is... Hey! Is this painting missing? September 7th, Grossberg's Law Offices. Huh, looks like Grossberg's out today, again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. Uh, there's a plant. An expensive potted plant. Corlystrictica! No idea what kind of plant it is. But it's probably the most expensive one available. <laughs> Just fucking every time be like, Corlystrictica! Table for clients. Hmm, now like an ebony case. If I'm not mistaken, the lighter's made of solid gold. Even I can, even I can tell somebody here's got money to burn. Cordialized Rictica! <laughs> expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. Uh huh. Funny, they don't look like they've ever been read. <laughs> oh my stomach. A solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. What's this? No photos? There are two lying here. Some, uh, something's been written on in the pencil on the back. DL6 Incident Exhibit A and DL6 Incident Exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. Let's look at A. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. I'm sure no one will miss a little photo. And it might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. On the bag, it's been added. It's been quietly added. In. A photo lies in the desk. Maybe I should switch it with the one I took. Yeah, sure. It's a guy, so I think we could probably bring it to the fucking bus boy, see if he identifies him. I think I'll swap him. That was a long shot, to be honest. Look at his doofy face. Eh. It doesn't sound like a lady killer, to say the least. Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? Yeah, it, yeah, it was a painting of a... Of, it was like some sunflowers with a guy, wasn't it? Wasn't it? It wasn't a very memorable painting, anyhow. Yeah, anyway. Um... I don't know, let's see. Court record... We got you. Do hit. Oh, we don't have that profile. I guess we either take the guy or the girl. I don't know if the girl's gonna have any presence on this story. Only one thing we've been we know is that there's a guy. Hey, do you know anything about this uh, picture? Take a look at this picture. Well, that's him, detective. I'm not a detective. And the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say, detective. You know how it is. No, I don't. 
Without a doubt, that is the, the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit swearing that's that, that's, that's him. An affidavit? This guy's way too excited. Sure, fuck it. Well, sure, why not? Yes! I've always wanted to write an affidavit, so. From henceforth, I shall be known as the boy, the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Just hurry up and write it. Uh, let's see. Bellboy's affidavit added to the court record describes a man who stayed with Miss May at the hotel on the night of the murder. Well, that solves that. Not even Miss May can play dumb this. Damn it. I was kind of hoping he... Ooh, oh, okay. That's fine. Uh, is there anything else you could... No? Okay. Uh, let's head back, see if the... Oh, he's out again? Huh? No more photos on the desk. I guess that was my only shot. I don't suppose I can just examine where the photo... No. Alright. That's the wrong place. There's only one place left, the detention center. <clears throat> oh my god, you again? Can't you take a hit and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now, is it? Yes, you manipulative bitch. You don't have spiky hair. You don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. Yeah, Miss Never Known Love. That does it. When this case is done, I'm <laughs> shaving my head. Alright, well... Uh, oh! I can... Let's talk. About the man who stayed with the, you in the hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where he is? I'm not telling. Look, he's being accused of murder. I don't think you want to be protected. Hmm, and who I would you have sold out the late Miss Faye to the cops? No. See? Damn. Hmm. Maybe if I had something to get her to talk. I could present the picture of the man! Or the affidavit. Let's present the picture. Have a look at this. Look! I said several times, I'm not telling you. Oh, that changed your tune. Where did you... Aha! The reaction! This is him, isn't it? The what? Who? When? Why? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. N no, no, that's not right. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. D do you have proof that was him? Hmm? Yeah, proof. Show me proof. I'm so close. Bellboy's affidavit. Could you have a look at this? What's that? The Bellboy's affidavit. It tells us everything he saw, such as the man you checked in with. It was the most deftly this guy. Now I'm getting somewhere. Now push her hard. This is it. All or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb. If indeed that is an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. What? Even though he should have been witness to murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. Oh, fine, I'll talk. Y you win, lawyer. Yes, man, that felt good. Great to be alive. <laughs> Why are you pumping your fists in the air? <laughs> now tell me about the man you're That man, he's my boss. Red White, the president of the information uh, gathering uh, called conglomerate Blue Corp. That's a really fucking thing. Red, white, and blue corp. He's your American main man in Japan, San Francisco. Red, white, information gathering. Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. Hmm. So this is the man that was with you the night of the slaughter. I'm... I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? This 
Mr. Red White at last. Finally, a lead on this guy. April May couldn't have done it. That leaves him. Time to take action. Okay, one little side note. I have obviously some indignation or in knowledge about the series. I've watched plenty of people play through like I think all three of the games. And so I'm not really like I'm not at all a newbie to this stuff. My thing is I have never once seen somebody actually push her harder. Like, legitimately, everyone else was like, oh, well, I got her, I should probably just let her, you know, cool down, and stuff like that. No, I pushed her, and she gave me actual information, and she's actually scared of the guy. Whereas everyone else is like, nah, I should ease her up, and she just gives you a bitch slap, basically. <laughs> Bellboy's F. Dason, discarded. Alright. There we go. So we have a new place called Blue Cook. That's good. Let's check in over there. Hey, isn't that the painting? It wasn't. Was it a fucking fisherman? God damn, that really is just a bad painting. September 7th, Blue Corp Inc. CEO's office. He's not really modest, is he? What's with the surreal decor? Decor. Welcome. Please furnish me with the title of your personage. What? Your name? Oh, what's your name? I was just inquiringly asking the title that you go by. Um, Wright. Phoenix Wright. Inquirably? Mr. Wright, is it? I write, I see. Uh, splendiferous. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my gigantic vocabulary. No? Not in the slightest. This is this guy's problem. I'm a red white. CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion official? No, I haven't heard you at all. My business dealings bring me to contract with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the worldly challenge. Like yourself? What a fruitcake. Mm, uh, let me guess. Uh, you're an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yipes, this guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm not gonna chat with you yet. Haven't I seen this somewhere? Is it a replica? Ridiculosity! I have no interest in anything but original. That right there is a bona fide original. Worth five million for sure. Hmm. I thought it was worth two mil. Plus a lineup of trophies. Judges, special runner up, best participation. Judges cooperation award, special good try prize. What the hell are you, uh, the fucking CEO of fucking participation try, uh, participation trophies anonymous? Or judges and special kind of stand out. Yeah. I don't know why the hell the judges would have worn the world. Statue of the man holding up the world. The blue corpse sign certainly stands out enough. The model for the man is, of course, Mr. White. Oh, truly a work of art, but probably too beautificacious for you to appreciate, correct? I think it's a little too beautificacious for anyone to appreciate, especially since you would try to. In Fucking impose that your packing, sir. Especially since you got your ass cheeks to the air. I'm guessing this is supposed to be a desk? My, my. It's quite the ass. It is model of my body, see? Is it. Or are you sure it's not adding a few inches here and there? Well, does its sleek furniture not inspire you? No. Not at all. Okay, um... The window. This is the top floor of a 20-store building. The view is quite... presidential. You see, I only know that view from another place. Another place that's on top of the world. You see, that one, it's all about gaming. Except, you're the one holding the cards. Anyway, uh, let's see. Let's chat with him. Uh, Miss May. 
Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct! She is my secretary. What a shock it is to hear what she has done. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed! She is paid to answer phones, and not tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties, but I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. Like I am now, slipping this ta uh, tracker down your pants. It is ineffable that she would do this. Sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. Yeah, and saying that she's afraid of him, I would see you as a reason why. On the night of the murder, were you in Miss April's May's room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. I just exist. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. You see, I go to the school of, uh, <laughs> Kuna Matata. It's see, the, the thing just translates into, don't give a fuck about life because you're rich. Oh, I'm so, I'm so to be believed. Still, <clears throat> Mr. Wright, the hotel bellboy has stated on record that he does remember you very clearly. And no matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak up, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Why? Hmm, you raise a good question, actually. No, we have reason to put him on the witness stand. We have a witness that both states he was there, as well as an accomplice that says he was there. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? Ah, that's what I'm saying. We should have seen the same things as April May. Oh, ho, ho! The police, the courts. To me, they are mere toys, playthings for my amusement. Okay, great. Thanks for, like, just announcing that you're fucking corruption incarnate. What kind of company is Blue Corp, anyway? Ah, uh, excellent question. We buy and sell the various kinds of information. We are a company of, fut of the future. You might say, we are the future. Sell information? What are you, Steve Jobs? In just ten years, I built this business up into the grand office you see now. Ah, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. Ha! Huh, I couldn't fucking guess. I read white of Blue Corp as founder and CEO named it so. Yeah, as splendiferous as it is, you're a fucking dunce. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. <laughs> Fucker going around being like, oh, I'm off in my purple suit with my pink undershirt. Ah, uh, yes, I'll schmick a little bit of blue in my fucking tie. And my fucking big-ass diamond pinned to my fucking vest. Don't mind my purple hair. It's just genetic. Oh my god, this guy's a douche. Ventabulous is enough. Yeah, sure. We'll go with that. Anyway, I think we're gonna end off the video here. Thank you guys for tuning in all the jazz like and subscribe. Comment down below and see you guys next video, and that have a great day.